A question that I've gotten a fair number of times in the past on my stream and YouTube comments and in messages on Facebook and Twitter and all over the place is why do I love playing top lane so much? Top lane can be a very annoying lane to play in a bunch of different ways. It's a lane that often gets camped, you spend so many games 2v1ing against the enemy jungler, you have to ward perfectly to always see him and then even then he'll just lane gank you and dive you, get his top laner a kill. It's a lane that has a lot of very frustrating and annoying champions to play against, people like Nasus and Singed who don't have that much counterplay against them. It's the lane that's home to the most annoying champion in the game, Teemo. And some of the metas in the top lane are really, really frustrating to deal with. Stuff like the tank versus tank meta that we had not that long ago, where it was just pillow fights top lane every single game. And there's some even more frustrating stuff you have to deal with if you main top lane. The fact that it's really hard to carry with in solo queue, since it's such an isolated role. Arguably as hard, if not harder to carry with than support. All the pro top laners have to deal with even more stuff, like the fact that it's often a 2v one lane in pro play, there's all those lane swaps, they have to double jungle sometimes. So why is it then that crazy people like me love to main the role, love to play it, play it so often and continuously never really get tired of playing it or dealing with all the frustrating stuff that happens? I feel like I can best describe it in a story I mentioned before. Back when I was playing with an amateur team in early seasons 1 and 2, I was around 1900 rating, I got to play against a lot of really good top laners. The ranked 5v5Q and scrims and tournaments, I just got to play against a lot of really really good players and really good top laners especially. I learned a lot from the players I played against and even got to win a few games against some of them. But there's one thing that always astonished me about every top laner I played against and that was the amount of character they all had. Every top laner felt different. They all had different styles of play, different champions, different strategies in solo queue, in ranked 5v5 play. For instance, Mach Noon. Back before there were Korean servers, Mach Noon and all the other Koreans that played League at the time all played on North America. I got to play against him in ranked 5v5 games twice because of it. Both games I took my Aurelia against his Jax at the time. Aurelia was still my best champion and favorite champion to play. I ended the first game like 3-3, three and three, something like pretty decent, not that bad, not that good. It was overall I feel like I had some pretty good games against him. I was able to hold my own, pick up a few kills due to some early jungle ganks, and after laning phase ended, I was ahead, I'm pretty sure both games, I had like a few kills ahead of him, I got his tower first, and I was like a wave or two of CS ahead. But even though I had this slight advantage over him in the early game, I got absolutely decimated in the mid to late game in terms of relevance. I might have had a few kills, I might have not been that bad, you know, pretty good score line that you would think, eh, I'm not doing that bad. But even though I ended up quote unquote winning the lane just slightly, I would do so much less than him in the mid to late game. My kills or CS lead, whatever small advantage I had, would mean nothing by the mid and late game as he would split push and take all these towers, get all these kills for his team. He would always have teleport up for whenever he needed to teleport into a team fight. I remember very specifically the first game I played against him, I took his tower first, but then I did not get a single objective for the rest of the game while he was able to split push enough to a point where he eventually took our inhip tower on his own just through split pushing in map presence. It was pretty ridiculous. He really opened my eyes up to laning is not all there is in top lane. In the early seasons of League of Legends, top lane was dominated by all of these different top laners who all brought their own personality and strategies to the table. Whether that was Mach Noon with his ability to split push, or Hotshot GG just with his ability to win lanes and carry games. They showed me two things. Firstly, how impressive you can make the lane look and how hard you can carry in solo queue. But secondly, how creative the role can really be. While AD carries may have impressive mechanics and mid laners can 1v one opponents in really stylish ways, while support players might be able to support their team very well in all sorts of different ways, and junglers have really great map presence, top lane will always be the role that in my eyes works to put all of that together and really exploit MOBA games, pushing them to their boundaries through each and every champion that League has to offer. That's why it will always be my favorite role in the game, no matter how many times I complain about having to lane against a Nasus. Despite all the frustrating things about it, the all-encompassingness of the role and the creation creativity that you have in the champions you take top lane and how you want to play them, how you want to carry the game and hopefully pull out a win for your team, is something that's always going to keep me coming back. Anyway though, thank you all very much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed. I will of course see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks again for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.